Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel and in our top stories today from Red State and aggregated here by Ground News since you guys can't see the Red State. Nonetheless, breaking Mitt Romney says he won't run for Senate in 2024. Now you have to say it like that, Mitt Romney, to honor the late great Rush Limbaugh who probably knew at the time that Mitt Romney was an establishment uniparty plant. Utah's junior senator and establishment rhino plant Mitt Romney announced on Wednesday that he will not be seeking re-election in 2024. The 76-year-old rhino was elected in 2018 following stints as the governor of the blue state of Massachusetts and uniparty plant GOP rhino presidential candidate in 2018 and 2012 with his vice president establishment plant Paul Ryan, the 54th Speaker of the House at the time, ladies and gentlemen. Romney has remained in the moderate wing of the party as part of the uniparty plant and famously clashed with former President Donald Trump as per the instructions of the uniparty during the 2016 presidential election, delivering a highly critical speech designed partly by the uniparty on March 30th, 2016, calling on Republicans to choose a nominee other than Donald Trump as instructed by the establishment Uniparty. Following Trump's win in November, however, Romney reportedly angled for the Secretary of State position despite having worked directly with the Uniparty, which ultimately went to Rex Tillerson in 2020. Romney broke ranks, as he would, as you would expect, from an establishment uniparty plant with his fellow Republican senators and voted to convict Trump on the following, uh, Trump following the first impeachment. No surprise that Rhino Romney is uh, obviously not going to run for office in 2024 because we're seeing a collapse of the establishment uniparty, hopefully, and uh, Mitch McConnell should follow his example immediately. So here's Mitt, I suppose, uh, outlining uh, that he's not running for 2020. My message to Utah's on my Senate re-election plan, which isn't a plan. He's just leaving, so it's not a big deal. I love this. In the two and a half minute, Romney touted his own achievements. So I'm sure he did, considering he had the establishment uniparty as backing him, while acknowledging uh, while acknowledging that he'd been in been in his mid 80s at the end of another term. Well, that's kind of a hint towards uh, Joe Biden. Were he to seek one. So, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, take a great deal of pleasure wanting to take a moment of my day and yours to mention to you that Mitt Romney is not going to be running for 2024, and it could not be a better move for the GOP, which I'm not particularly content with, who says now, that would be uh, Kevin McCarthy, says that they are pursuing to uh, impeach Donald, or impeach Donald Trump, impeach Joe Biden, which they need to be doing and should have should have been doing when everything was breaking with um, Hunter Biden. But of course, the GOP, as we always like to say here, you give the Democrats an inch, they take a mile, you give their GOP a mile, and they'll take half an inch. But this is really great news in the overall scheme of things, particularly for me as a actual genuine conservative, not an establishment plant rhino perceived to be conservative, like Mitt Romney. So, ladies and gentlemen, I could not be happier with this news. This may not be of any particular consequence to you, but for me, it is absolutely gigantic. And in within the political sphere, it's very big because Mitt Romney is a huge, huge establishment plant who, as was outlined here, went against Donald Trump. He was just absolutely against Donald Trump. He was a never-Trumper number one. So not necessarily because he's a never, not, it isn't necessarily because he was a never Trumper that I disliked Mitt Romney, but I could see the writing on the wall. Like back in 2004, I could see the GOP and the Republicans going into that uniparty mindset under George Bush. Could definitely see it, and that's why I ended up leaving the Republican Party was back in 2004 because I saw this coming, and it was becoming even more evident. And now that Donald Trump became president in 2016, it was even more apparent that the establishment uniparty was there, just absolutely ensconched itself inside both parties and within government, and were just becoming stronger and stronger. And, of course, in 2020, they did everything they could to ensure that Donald Trump was not going to win. But, ladies and gentlemen... This is awesome news 
and I had to share it with you because it is just an example of what's happening within the uniparty establishment. And I can't, I can't, I can't express to you how happy this makes me right here. I know this may seem, as I said, this may seem totally insignificant and inconsequential to you, but this is massive. I do want to thank all you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube. You guys have been amazing helping me out. It's been a very difficult summer for all creators across the board, and we have even more changes coming up in November for all of us as creators. So your guys' support is always appreciated. Whether you're on New Tech, especially on Rumble, things are going really well. I'm really excited about Rumble as well as BitChute and even on odyssey things have been going really well so thank you so much to all of you guys and of course here on youtube appearing there on the screen that would be the channel icon you guys can click on to subscribe as well as to select notifications that when you know when there's content here on the channel and i'll see all you guys in the next video